Hey guys, and thanks for tuning in to Under Over Just Right. Um, this is actually going to be a video response to um, the most recent episode, um, and that was episode 6. And there was a question posed by one of the viewers um, that I'm just going to address solo by myself. Um, and that question came from uh, Bane of Cree. If you were going to limit, if you were going to be limited to 8 items to include in a new Skaven book, which would be in there? And what points would you impose, assuming very little change in the way the army works? Alright, so I went through the items that I use most. Um, and before I even go into them, this is what I would actually like to see happen in the new book. I would like to see the bestiary uh, expand a little bit. And that's the um, that first page of items, they're just simple items, an extra rat on the base for uh, an extra strength three hit, or a, a musket, or a pistol, or these little poison attacks, or these little things for 15 or less points that you can give to a champion, or a hero, or a lord. Um, I'd like to see that expand a little bit, see some of the more simpler th things from the magic items go in there so they don't take up those, you know, eight or ten magic items that will be in the new Skaven book, just like every other new book where there's just so few um, magic items compared to previous books. Now, the Skaven book has one, two, three, four, five, five full pages of magic items, and we, we all know we're not going to see that, but I think hopefully the beast area would expand a little bit. So items like, um, let's say the warp energy condenser that could be something that moves to the bestiary or a clan specific list of items uh, i know these magic items are all considered magic items but some of them are, some of them are very simple like clan mo molder um, beast prods a 15 point whip that does d3 attacks i mean is that really a magic item could that just be a special piece of equipment i mean stuff like that i think could be moved to a clan specific bestiary but um I would say the, the warp energy condenser could be like an upgrade to the engineer that could go in its items on the, the roster creating pages or in the actual list of rules. But um, the Gracier could go without it. So I think Gracier shouldn't have the warp and uh, the warp energy condenser. That should just be a engineer upgrade. But um I think tokens, warpstone tokens, should be added to the bestiary. They don't need to be a magic item. They already don't take up arcane slots, and they don't count towards your maximum amount of um, magic items you could take. So perhaps making that an upgrade in the character creation list, you know, take up to three warpstone tokens at you know 15 points a, a model, uh, 15 points a token, or just add it to the bestiary like the um, the entries say. You could take a hundred points from the bestiary or from magic items so I think that's what should happen uh, hopefully kinda like the ogre kingdoms have a separate page of big names and stuff like that so um, so I think some items should be moved to the bestiary since they're not too crazy um, I would definitely keep in the weeping blades as a magic item, that would be one of the eight I was considering. Um, the 30 points, which I think is very reasonable, and that's the uh, D3 multiple wounds and it's armor piercing. Maybe they could dull it down to not have armor piercing and just have it do D3 wounds and add it to the bestiary. I don't know. I don't know what people think a magic item is opposed to just an upgrade piece of equipment. So, but uh, Weeping Blade, 30 points, I think it's fair. Um, it might be slightly underpriced. I, I don't know. Maybe 35 would be fair. I think I would still take them as 30, 35. Um, it's Weeping Blade. I know in Mordheim it's Weeping Blade, so it's it's two. But I don't know. That'd be that'd be cool. Maybe maybe make Weeping Blades a paired weapon for 40 points. So you get plus one attack, armor piercing, D3 multiple wounds. I'd pay 40 points for that. That that's that's pretty cool. Um. Now, Dwarf Bane, I was really on the fence about. I love this weapon. I only really like using it against Dwarves, of course, because you get the um, armor piercing versus Dwarves, and you get to reroll all failed to wound rolls, which is really cool. Uh, but the plus one strength for 25 points anyway is reasonable. It's essentially what you get in um, 
let me, let me look right here. What what item is that? In the the old book, Sword of Might for twenty points plus one strength. So, um, if you know you're gonna be playing a lot of dwarves or you're making a list for dwarves, it's an awesome item. I would love to see that in the new book. But at the same time, if there's gonna be so few items, I would like to see less specific army items where this is good against demons, this is good against dwarves. But that's what I think. Um, Skaven Brew, it's gotta be in there. I love this game, Brew. Uh, I think it needs some reworking. Um, I'd be happy if it stayed the way it was. I feel like the roll of a one, okay, you're out of 50 points, you lose some guys, the roll of a six, your guys are real souped up, you're still going to lose a bunch, and then everything in between. I like this game, Brew. I think it takes a lot of character, gives gives the army a lot of character, but it's a lot of risk too, which is what Skaven is all about. Um, next, the Scalm. I, I like the Scalm. I usually think I think it works really well with the Gracier. And this is essentially um, a one-use item that you can use at the beginning of any phase, friend or foe, and it recovers all your wounds. So if you're taking wounds from Warpstone tokens or from Ed Butt or any s spell that's trying to take out your caster, which is pretty hard when he's on a bell, but... Um, you want to be able to get those wounds back if you're miscasting or rolling poorly on your Warpstone tokens. I like that item. Is it fair for 30 points? I don't know. I feel like a lot of the 30 point magic items for Skaven, I would pay 35 or 40 points for just because they're good. Um, I don't know if any other army has a similar item to that where you just recover all wounds. I don't know if there's like a vampire thing. I'm not very, I'm not very uh, familiar with vampire counts, but... I don't know, maybe somebody comment below if there's anything similar to that in other armies. Um, Doom Rocket is a must. I love that item. I wouldn't be surprised if it gets removed, though, because it's pretty broken. But if they could rework it, smaller template, not as much strength, I, I mean, I think there's a lot of potential there. It's a cool item. Um, you might not see it as often, because I also think engineers will be repriced when the new book comes out, I th I really think engineers should start as a level one caster, just because in eighth edition, being able to buy as many heroes as you want, you can get so many fifteen point engineers to just carry magic items. Um, so I think engineers alone will change a little bit. Um, that happens all the time with the Skaven books, I think, because the previous book, one of the hero choices was the Master Molder, I believe. Um, it was a hero choice where now it's just an upgrade for your units, similar to maybe Dark Elves. I think Dark Elves used to have Assassins as a hero choice. Now you just buy them as unit upgrades. So, I don't know. <sighs> Plague Banner. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see that in there. I would love. I wouldn't mind paying more points for it, um, or for thirty points, like in the previous video. Take away one of the two effects. I mean, it, it's it's essentially it essentially has hatred, and then reroll all missed wounds. If you just take away the hatred aspect of it for thirty points, you could just reroll missed wounds. I'm fine with that because you're gonna get a lot of attacks. It's strength, uh, weapon skill three, so hopefully more than not, half of them are getting through. And then, Strength 3 isn't wonderful. I don't know what armies you're playing, but to be able to reroll Mist Wounds will be pretty decent. I would pay 30 points for that alone. Storm Banner is really cool. I like the Storm Banner. I wouldn't mind seeing that in the, the new Skaven book when they go to con, you know decrease the amount of items that you're getting in your army book. Um, the Storm Banner, for anyone who doesn't know, is essentially um, a banner that you activate at the beginning of either a turn or a, shoot, a phase. I don't have it right up in front of me, but uh, essentially it does minus two to shoot. All right, I got it right in front of me. At activate at the beginning of any player turn. So you'd activate it at, in your opponent's turn. And then all missiles are at minus two to hit. And they end. War Machines and anything that doesn't use ballistic skill can only be used on a four plus. Now that's awesome against Empire and um, Dwarves, but uh, now that I'm thinking about it, it might not be bad for an army like Demons, maybe? Use the eye against Demons? I mean, it also prevents all flying. Wow, 
I'm coming to a realization right now. This might be cool against the new demon army, especially with the skull cannon, but to activate this during the player's turn, he can't fly, and I know there's a lot of flying stuff, especially with your demon princes and whatever crazy flying stuff that they have. Um, they can't fly, so they can only move. Shooting is minus two, so I think Flamers of Zinch, I believe. I'm not a demon person, but I think they shoot um, using ballistic skill. And the skull cannon can only be used on a 4+, plus, so this might be a cool item, item against um, demons also. And then anyone that really has shooting, but I feel like dwarves and empire usually have a bunch of shooting and war machines, so I always use the storm banner against them with that. Um, and then in the Skaven turn, on the roll of a 4+, plus, it um, ends. And then it keeps going back and forth until you roll a 4 or higher. It, the effects could keep going, so half the time um, it'll continue in your turn, and it doesn't affect your stuff. So you're hoping you roll a 1-2-3 for your turn, and then a 1-2-3 for your opponent's turn, so you can get at least two rounds out of it. But if you don't get two rounds out of it, who cares? You got, you know, no flying movement, minus two to hit, and then four plus for war machines to work. So pretty cool banner. I think it's pretty awesome. If they were to make that a BSB banner, I would pay 55 points for it, I, I guess. Uh, but I don't know if I would go much more than that, especially since it only lasts for one round. It's still really good. And then the last thing, I, I don't know if this is 8, but around a 8, I guess. The last thing is the Under Empire banner. I love this banner. Uh, essentially, any unit touching the unit that has the banner takes, before combat, 2d6 strength to automatic hits. I love bringing it against Elves and Empire because Elves, especially, always strike first for the High Elves. You get some hits in there, wounding on 5s. They usually have heavy armor or 5 plus saves somewhere. Um, that's usually pretty decent. Maybe take a couple out, you know, two or three out before the turn starts. But if you're in combat with a bunch of units, it affects each of them. And. I just think it's. Um, it's it's good for 25 points. I like it, um, but that's uh, that's really it to answer uh, Beta Kree's question. Those are my items that I think I would like to see can, uh, in the new book. I'm sure there'll be something new and some old like all the other ones. But Weeping Blades, Dwarf Bane, Skaven Brew, Scalm, Doom Rocket, Plague Banner, Storm Banner, and Under Empire Banner. But I wouldn't be surprised if there's more clan specific items like there already were but maybe not count as magic items uh, I don't know so I am curious to see how this all goes down so um yeah if anyone has their response to that or any of the items that they think should be removed in the new book or an item that should be added um, but th those are my responses to um, Bane Cree, especially with the point that he said assuming very little change in the way the army works I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there are some changes to the army since strength and numbers and stubborn are kind of broken, I feel like, with Skaven, since as long as you have outrank your enemy, you're stubborn all the time. It's crazy. But um, maybe that's not as broken as I think it might be. Your people might make it out to be. So, But yeah, that's my response. Um, any other questions like that, uh, feel feel please feel free um and i'll try to respond to them as uh, thoroughly or as quickly as i can but thanks for uh watching uh like subscribe and uh, post comments thanks guys